Hey there my lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the Harfel Tarot guys with another pick a card for all of you. Uh, today's reading it's going to be all about who wants to talk to you and why, who will reach out to you soon here. This is going to be a timeless reading. Uh, we are going to see who is this person or persons that want to uh, communicate with you, what they want to communicate, the reason behind it, uh, what are their intentions here. So this is going to be a very in-depth reading for all of you. If you're curious, who's going to reach out to you soon and why? Um, so yeah, we have for pile number one here, the Shao coins with Amethyst crystal. For pile number two, we have the Shao swords with the Jade, uh, jade crystal. And for pile number three, we have here the Shao staves uh, with the, the red Jasper crystal here. Take a moment, guys. I'll pause the video if needed. See which card is drawing you the most here. And I'll see you in a second. Bye. my pile number one if you guys been drawn to this amethyst crystal or to this um shower of coins here and especially i feel like if uh, you've been i don't know waiting for some sort of uh, business opportunity from someone maybe you've been waiting for uh, someone from a job that you apply to here uh, to reach out to you here with some good news I feel like this is your pile here or um, if you're waiting for some sort of um, uh, what's called um, promotion at your work environment as well i feel like uh, this is your confirmation that you're uh, you choose the right pile here with the king of coins here um we have someone that uh, wants to reach out to you here that is very confident here could be someone that's very grounded very authoritative well established in the material and financial matters i'm getting here they could be a taurus virgo capricorn for some of you or maybe this is uh, your uh, zodiacal sign for some of you uh, one 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 on the clock so i feel like whoever they are this is someone that's very stable could be in a leadership position here uh could be that this someone is very uh focused on their finances on their uh, money here on their well-being on their uh, uh stability here someone that's very um I don't know, holds uh, um, some sort of uh, influence or maybe authority, power possible for some of you when it comes to your career, finances, personal realm. Uh, could be that this is someone, as we can see here, like they're very um, dressed very fine here. So this is um, like well-tailored attire tells me that this is someone that's very wealthy here that has a lot of success. They could be very refined here like um, a true gentleman here a very mature person um, could be that this person might be very successful or have achieved a significant level of mastery in their field here that wants to approach to you wants to get in touch with you um, maybe this person is someone who's going to uh, help you regarding your finances or maybe this is as i was saying uh, some sort of uh, professional opportunity here that uh, it's going to reach out to you here uh, for others of you could be some sort of offer guidance in the material uh, matters uh, with the three branches here uh, and the flowers in the background tells me that whoever they are here is going to bring a lot of abundance and prosperity to you here. Uh, this person wants something that is going to last for a long, uh, long time here. They want to have some sort of long term connection between you and them here. Uh, maybe they have this long term mindset or uh, connection to you here maybe for some of you this could be someone that you already know uh, and you have built in the past maybe this solid relationship with um, whoever they are they are very mature composed capable of a lot of things here um, 
very supportive very generous very giving as well is what i'm getting for others of you this could be someone that will help you uh help you into your uh, into materializing your dreams into the reality is what i'm getting uh could be that for some of you this person is going to help you uh learn some tricks uh, in the bitcoin investment i'm getting this is a specific message for someone out there for others of you i feel like this uh, could be maybe someone that wants to work with you especially in the real estate environment here they are going to um giving you they're going to give you like precious advices on how to invest your money wisely here of course the if if you're dealing with someone that's trustworthy that you already know uh that you know this person background don't trust anyone that can just scam you here four 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 on the clock so be aware of that as well but um could be that this person could be a bit older than you or maybe they're just experienced that are thinking about you. I feel like this person, uh, it's stable and as I was saying, they're in this position of authority. Maybe for some of you, this could be a colleague, a boss here for some of you, maybe a business partner here. Um uh, yeah, there. I feel like there is someone here in your professional or financial life um, possible. This uh, a man here that you're dealing with, uh, but the, the gender isn't fixed in the tarot reading. So this could be uh, just the um, um, masculine energy here. Doesn't have to be a male here, of course, or a man, um, but. Um, for if you're a female watching this i feel like this is someone that's going to be a provider this is someone that always taking care of those close to them um they always help financially their family relationships they are in especially if you need their help they are going to help you uh financially here um I feel like this person is reaching out with the intent of discussing something related to your material or professional world uh, for the majority of you that have been drawn to pile number one here. So it could be related to maybe financial opportunities here, co career advancement, practical advice on stability and growth here. Um, this could be a new job offer for some of you. Or maybe they want to, for others of you, to solidify a business connection with you. Uh, whoever they are here, uh, they are very uh, responsible here. Like, uh, And as I was saying, if you've been waiting to have this uh, promotion, expecting on a promotion, a business uh, offer here um, or maybe to have a financial discussion with someone this is a clear indicator to you that um, the person reaching out to you is linked to that here um, so they're trustworthy and they're going to offer you something of value here so pile number one i feel like soon you're going to um hear soon from a person that is going to have a lot of influence in your life here uh, especially when it's coming to your career or financial uh, realm here so this is someone that it's um going to offer you this solid beneficial opportunity whoever they are it's going to be related to your work uh, environment here and it's going to uh, help you to, or they're going to uh, help you invest maybe into something or they're going to give you these practical advices for others of you how, about how to improve your current situation here. Um, I feel like this person, whoever they are, um, they're uh, thinking about your uh, long term success and growth here. So the conversation, I feel like it's going to be very constructive here. It's going to be focused on stability here, uh, prosperity. So probably it's going to happen within a short period of time here.
Uh, but let's see what the, the tarot cards have to say for you as well. My what else? Uh, pile number one. Who's this person that's thinking about reaching out to you? Uh, sorry, I don't know how that flipped over. Pile number one. Who's this person that wants to reach out to you soon? And who's this person that's thinking about pile number one? Uh, okay, new opportunities here. Uh, could be someone that you recently meet, uh, met here with the Ace of Cups. Uh, could be that this person just wants to have a long-term connection with you, with uh, some of you. Thank you. Nine of Swords. The Chariot. One more card here. Thank you. Two of Wands. At the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords. Okay. And Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, I'm getting that this person is like liking you. They have feelings for you here. Uh, whatever you've been wishing for with the Nine of Cups, this tells me that your wishes are going to come in uh, soon here. They are going to materialize. Three of Cups here, this tells me that they could be a friend here. Or within your uh, circle of friends, maybe. Could be a, a colleague from the workplace that uh, you've been friend for a while now. Uh, Queen of Swords here, for others of you, I feel like there could have been a third party situation uh, going on between you and someone here. And you could have cut this person off with this Queen of Swords. You cut the communication here uh, between the two of you, I'm getting... Especially if they put you in a third party situation because we have the Queen of Swords, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, if this person put you in a third party situation and was uh, um, with the King of Coins, could be that uh, this person wanted their cake to be eaten too. Uh, they put you in a third party situation. I feel like you just cut off any uh, communication between you and them. So this person is ready to talk with uh, this Queen of Swords. They could be anxious. Um, they don't know how to reach out to you at the moment. Um, they've been thinking about it for a while. They are still thinking about it um, with the two of ones here trying to make some sort of decision here to come towards you or not maybe weighing the cons and pros realizing that they put you in some shitty situation especially if it's if it is about a third party situation or for majority of you it doesn't have to be another person maybe this person with the king of uh, coins they could have just choose uh, money over you they could have choose their career finances over you here uh, they didn't make your priorities what i'm getting in the past here like this person all they cared about it was about money here uh, they didn't put in any a lot of effort in could be that this person uh, their uh, love language uh, could be uh, about um, gifts money uh, but they don't really know how to show off emotions like even though they might have strong feelings towards you here maybe this person is still in love with you or they're in love with you i feel like uh, they don't know how to show it. This person is just <sighs> so um, with their head in their money, in their stability, in their finances. They don't really know how to show all their, uh, their love here is what I'm getting. Uh, also, this Queen of Swords, uh, I feel like in this, uh, if I remember correctly, in this uh, deck, it's called the uh, uh, Lady of Revenge here. Um, 
could be that this person could have this difficult character here maybe this uh, is someone that uh, it's feeling like they lost you here and maybe that's why they want to reconciliate with you celebrate something especially if you cut them off from your life you stop communicating with them i feel like that's when this person start to realize that they lost something important something of value in their life here i'm also getting that uh, could be for some of you this person could be sterile and maybe that's why they don't really want to get involved in uh, 14 14 on the clock uh, on any um relationships here maybe they don't feel like they are going to be good enough for you especially if you uh, already know this person and you know that you're wishing to have a family something um like you to leave a legacy behind if they're sterile here with this uh, uh lady of revenge i feel like this person uh, maybe they choose their career because they couldn't offer you a family something that you wanted to have a child uh, they were unable to offer you that uh, because of their sterility here a specific message of course uh but now with um the ace of cups here with the ace of chalices um this speaks of the soul of uh, um, osiris here uh, this represents abundance joy and nourishment so um again it speaks of that emotional fulfillment love over well uh, overflowing of maybe these positive uh, feelings here um this person wants to have a new emotional connection with you here or for others of you could be that this person wants to deepen the existence of a um of one whoever they want to reach out they're thinking about uh, being more up open when it comes to love uh, wanting to be more compassionate um have this emotional renewal especially if they've been in this queen of swords energy in the past here if they were acting cold detached um it was just um not they were feeling them down inside they were more not wanting to reveal maybe their feelings towards you here maybe they were afraid especially with this nine of swords um this person could have had a lot of fears here um they were just sabotaging self-sabotaging this relationship with you here is what i'm getting um i'm also getting here with um the flower here and the egyptian symbols on this card that uh, there is this divine connection between the two of you here so whoever is reaching out to you uh, you might have the spiritual or um, intuitive link uh, between the two of you here um, maybe this person or both of you are feeling this profound connection to one another almost as if they are just divinely guided to communicate with you here to open up to you to uh, express their feelings here to have this new beginning when it comes to love also the um, lotus floral here design uh, represents that uh, rebirth uh, new beginnings in many cultures purity here so this person love and feelings towards you uh, they're genuine they're pure here my pile number one um, so maybe they want to heal this situation uh, they want to have a renewal with you here um, they are going to offer you here something pure unattained and i feel like it's going to be deeply um, uh, fulfilling on a very emotional level here uh with this uh, blue uh, cup here with the blue color i feel like this person this represents calm and communication emotional tranquility here so i feel like this person definitely wants to open up to you here when um, to open uh, to let you know how they truly feel um they could be looking to have this open-hearted conversation with you pile number one um 
I feel like they will come in with this um, sincere communication, especially with the Queen of Swords here. They want to have this honest communication with you. Uh, they are going to be very sincere here and uh, maybe they want to make peace between the two of you. Um, they wish to have your understanding as well is what I'm getting. So I feel that with uh, this uh, skirt here, um, this represents that celebration, the joy here between the two of you. So this person wants to um, bring this uh, joy here. Um, they want to celebrate with you on the on this emotional bond that you're sharing between the two of you here. Um, so this is or either someone that you're sharing uh, this deep emotional bond with that wants to communicate with you pile number one or you will share could be uh, totally a new person that you have met especially if you just change your job here with the king of coins uh, with the ace of cups this could be a brand new person here that you're going to share this deep emotional bond here that uh, wants to reach out and communicate with you uh, as i was saying this could be like a new person that might uh, um, just enter your life here uh, someone who's um, uh, this um, bond between the two of you it's about to uh, deepen here I feel like this person wants to communicate with you because they feel this strong emotional pull towards you, whoever they are. As I was saying, possible they want to express their feelings of affection. Uh, maybe they even have this romantic interest in you. For others of you, this is someone that loves you deeply here and they want to share their emotions and open their heart to you here. So expect some sort of communication here from someone who is emotionally invested in you. Either it's a friend for some of you, a lover, or maybe a family member for others of you. Someone with whom you share an emotional or a very a spiritual connection with I'm getting. Could be that uh, this person might not have expressed their feelings fully yet here. But they will reach out soon uh, with this emotional openness is what I'm getting. Uh, for those of you that you recently met someone new, I feel like they might be on uh, the one to initiate uh, this more profound connection between the two of you. Okay. Yeah, whoever they are, um, they are going to be very caring, very compassionate here. So I feel like this person soon are going to express their emotions here and it's going to lead to this uh, fulfilling bond between uh, the two of you here. Now with the nine of uh, swords here. Um, again, this speaks of their thoughts here. Uh, they're struggling within their mind here. Um, the person who wants to talk to you, I feel like is grappling with maybe unresolved mental or emotional anguish at this moment. Um, for some of you, if they put you in a third party situation, I feel like this person, it's... Uh, feeling very guilty about it uh, they are regretting uh, for not being more honest for not uh, letting you the truth from the beginning here um whatever is going on here i feel like this person is like uh, heavily mentally uh, burdened by their thoughts and uh, it's just weighing the, this person down um they're feeling very conflicted at the moment here or maybe in the past this person as i said um, they didn't choose you here they didn't put you on the first place they choose their business over you and i feel like they're regretting this um or if they choose someone else over you i feel like uh, this person is regretting it um, maybe uh, they had a hard time to choose between 
you and their work or something else here they were just dragging this um, out and again uh, this is what is keeping this person uh, up at night here um, maybe for some of you you have some sort of conflicts between you and this person could be that again with the swords crossed here on this card and uh, the two of ones that's crossed here as well i feel like they could be at the crossroads here when it comes to their uh, thoughts about you here they're really conflicted they could be afraid of uh, having the conversation they could be afraid of opening up and letting you know how they truly feel they could be afraid that you're going to cut them off from your life here and they're going to reject them I don't know, they could be dealing with a choice that is causing this person a lot of stress here, tension here. But they, they want to have some sort of clarity or they're looking for some sort of answers here. Uh, maybe they're just guarding again their emotions here because we have the water that represents the emotions and the cross so I feel like this person could be um, they're trying to guard their emotions here maybe they don't know how to express emotions how to open up to people though, usually um, could be that this person it's um, uh, scared of being emotionally vulnerable they could fear exposing their true feelings here towards you here is what i'm getting um they are definitely going through these turbulent emotions here is what i'm getting um instability could be that they have these fluctuating thoughts at the moment uh, I feel like this person's uh, emotions are not settled and they are unsure maybe how to reach out, uh, what they want to say further here and this is causing them a lot of anxiety, uh, this is causing a lot of hesitation, uh, things are being stuck maybe between the two of you, you could not, maybe you're not even in communication with this person at the moment with the queen of swords here so uh, yeah they they're deeply troubled whoever this is um maybe for some of you as i was saying if they put you in a third party situation whatever happened between you and this person if this is a past person they definitely feel guilty about how they handled the situation with you in the past year i feel like this person is just overwhelmed with anxiety here uh they regret something they did or failed to do here i feel like this person mind is filled with worry and they want to communicate but they're uns certain or afraid maybe of the outcome for some of you uh, for others could be that this person is feeling the rejection or judgment um, which is why they haven't reached out yet here but they i feel like this person is going to reach out maybe in nine days could be in seven days or two weeks here between one and two weeks uh, could be for some of you maybe a month or two maximum but i feel like they they are ready to communicate they they, they want to reconciliate here why because uh, they see you as a wish fulfillment here they have love for you like deep feeling genuine pure feelings towards you um but yeah um this person is suffering from internal stress emotional burden uh could be that they're struggling struggling with their feelings or thoughts about you here uh, maybe they are just over analyzing the situation here um i feel like this person um if they if you haven't been in contact with them for a while here i feel like they've been experiencing sleepless nights a significant worry um, about the conversation they want to have with you um, they could be looking for ways here with this nine of swords to um, 
make peace between the two of you to have closure here um they want to clear there they might want to apologize here seek closure um but i feel like the mental burden is becoming too much for this person at this point of time here to bear and um I feel like this is the reason they are also going to reach out to you because they want to feel that uh, stress relief here uh, or else I feel like they are not going to find it here. So this person definitely is going through some sort of mental distress at the moment. Um, they are experiencing anxiety over something that it's unresolved between the two of you and they just want to clear their conscience and find peace here. um now with the chariot yeah this person is determined to come toward you here you also have the chariot and the two of wands so for some of you maybe this is a long the distance relationship here uh there is maybe emotional distance physical distance uh maybe there they want to reach out like to drive to your home here to come at your door but they are afraid that maybe that's not the best approach here maybe they're just thinking if that's the best decision to do or not here uh, they don't want to scare you off is what i'm getting here uh, but uh, this person is determined to have success when it comes to the relationship with you for sure uh, you could be dealing here we have a lot of uh, cancer energy here and for others of you we have some uh, uh, Aries energy for others of you I see some Gemini Libra Aquarius as well um, but um, this person they want to take charge of the situation here and they're likely to reach out soon because they have a set um, a clear intention and to they want to uh, drive the situation between the two of you forward here i feel like this person is finally going to take charge over their tasks here um and um come in with communication here uh, they're not rushing though I feel like this person is very calculated and very deliberate especially with the uh, king of the coins and the chariot as well uh, so this person is taking their time think about it maybe that's why they're overthinking the situation with the sphinxes uh, here uh could be that this is your divine counterpart like the yin and yang here energy we are having the masculine and the feminine here um could this represents the duality and balance here so um maybe they're even wrestling with opposing forces in their life or at the moment or emotions um but um they want to balance the energies here before reaching out maybe their indecision um, versus their determination or their doubt versus their confidence here maybe there are some opposing forces that they're battling with maybe that's why what's causing them a lot of stress burdens here anxiety here um but definitely i feel like they want to balance with the chariot the energies here before they reach out they are working on moving forward despite any conflicts that this person might be going through here uh the sphinx also represents the balance of the conscious and conscious forces so um, they're very logical and reason uh, here um also with the eye of horus here above the uh, chariotor um represents that protective symbol here represents clarity inside spiritual vision here so could be that this person is gaining some uh, uh clarity insight into the situation here maybe they're feeling even for some of you divinely guided here to come forward to move forward uh, this connection to come in and just express how they truly feel about you um maybe this person wants to see clearly the things to see beyond the confusion here so yeah i feel like um 
this person might be on a personal journey of growth and mastery at the moment. Uh, they're driven, uh, their ambitions, they have recently maybe gained some clarity on their purpose, feelings maybe regarding you, especially if you cut them off and you stop communicating with them completely here. I feel that's when they realize that this person actually were having genuine feelings towards you. They, they were uh, in love with you they, or they were starting to catch those uh, feelings towards you here. De definitely they, this person is into you and they like you here. Um, so yeah, I feel like um, they are ready or they are going to be ready in the near future here. One to two weeks for some of you, for others of you, between one and two months here. They are going to move things forward here. They are going to, um, if you have some unresolved matter with, uh, with uh, I feel like they are going to um, come and address the problem uh, because they, they are determined with Sharia to take control over the situation here. So... I feel like this person is working behind the scenes at the moment here. Maybe for others of you, this person could be dealing with personal external challenges here, but they they are going to be ready to approach you here. Um, could be that this is someone as well for others of you that's just goal oriented. Um, maybe they have a clear a plan for how they want to engage uh, with you or they will have in the near future um as i was saying again with the chariot it tells me that definitely you're dealing with someone that it's on a higher position leadership position here um could be maybe because of the work if you're working together with this person maybe that's why they are so hesitant they're having a lot of worry stress anxiety here uh, they're very indecisive at the moment um, for others of you could be that uh, maybe this is someone who has recently overcome challenges and now they're ready to connect with you on this deeper and more strategic level here um but uh, yeah i feel like this person uh, has a specific goal and purpose in their mind and that's to come in and clear uh, this unresolved business between the two of you here they want to resolve the issues here so yeah um the moment this person is going to take uh, control over their emotions, over their thoughts and mind here, that's when they are going to reach out to you here. And they will come in very confident. You will see that their confidence. Uh, now with the two of ones here, again, they are at the crossroads at the moment. Like they are battling internally definitely here like this person is going through a lot of internal battles um they're maybe even weighing their options here um I, I, maybe they're just considering what's the best uh, uh course of action here how to move forward here Again, uh, two of ones, this is someone that has a lot of authority. I don't know who you're dealing with, but wow. Uh, maybe this person, it's coming from a very wealthy family here. And maybe for some of you, they're afraid that um, uh, they're afraid that their family, maybe it's not going to agree with this connection, especially if you're not coming from you're coming from different cultures background here is what i'm getting for some of you um again we have more high of horus here that symbol of protection here divine guidance so um i feel like this person feels that this decision or conversation is very important here and uh, they want to have clarity between the two of you uh, maybe they're just looking for confirmation about the right path to take for them they want to make sure that uh, 
coming towards you it was the best choice here um expressive their feelings it was the best choice they they are afraid of rejection for majority of you could be that uh, especially if they put you in a third party situation and you cut them off here from your life uh, they were just focusing on their finances, money, they didn't show a lot of affection towards you. Uh, they're afraid that you're going to cut them off from um, and block them from your life here. And maybe this is causing them a lot of stress, anxiety here. Um, for others of you, this is someone new that you start working with. Uh, because of the environment or position they are in, uh, it's causing them a lot of stress here. But uh, they want to communicate here. Maybe they're even looking for some sort of spiritual sign here, uh, guidance before reaching out here. Um, yeah, definitely this person is at the crossroads here. Um, it's they're just evaluating uh, maybe the future of your relationship or partnership here before they um, they take the step forward here. Uh, but I feel like they're in the process of making this important decision here, and um, this is going to include you here. Maybe this person is just um, ready to take action here because we have the ones that speak of action here, but they're just in the planning phase for others of you. Um, for others of you, maybe they 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 want to. Um, have these discussions about the future plans here uh, maybe they're considering uh, some sort of proposal to give to your partnership here uh, something to collaborate with you and they're just in the planning phase at the moment they're thinking um, how to make you join their side uh, be their employee um, what to offer you here for your um, recognition here for a, wor a work well done as well for others of you so yeah uh, i feel like uh, this person is going to reach out though to a point where a decision must be made here maybe they have multiple candidates that uh, they're not sure yet whom to choose but i feel like they're going to choose you here with the king of uh, uh, coins ace of cups here i feel like you're going to start a new beginning with this person here uh, so yeah could be that uh, they want to work on something that is going to be beneficial for both of you here is what i'm getting here and uh, with this uh, queen of swords here uh, i feel like uh, this is someone that values the honesty intellectual connection that you might share with this person uh, as i was saying this person feels the need to communicate in order to have clarity uh, regarding your situation with them or relationship here uh, could be that this person is coming from this place of uh, emotional detachment here perhaps they believe that addressing the situation logical maybe is the best way uh, moving forward here i feel like this person uh, doesn't really know how to show their emotions as i said here um, but um, they are seeking a way to bring the truth uh, to the forefront here especially if there was some maybe for some of you uh, some sort of confusion miscommunication between your view um but yeah this person uh, they will reach out here they're very analytical and independent as well is what i'm getting um maybe they've been observing you from the distance here as well uh, and just waiting for the right time to communicate here um again uh, we have a queen um another leadership card another uh, card of someone being uh, in authority position here so i don't know who you're dealing with but geez this person uh, has a lot of power here they're very wealthy very powerful i don't know who you're dealing with my plan number one but uh, they're a good catch <laughs> 
I feel like um, they are coming across as someone that's being uh, unemotional, uh, cold, detached here, but uh, I feel like um, they 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 want to have or offer you clarity or truth in the situation here where uh, where is needed. They this person wants to clear there and provide truthful insight here. Especially if there was an, a misunderstanding here. Maybe they want to offer you their perspective in a straightforward manner here. I feel like this is someone that's not going to sugarcoat things and they'll just give you the facts as they see them here. I feel like they, they want to address something that maybe uh, for others of you, as I was saying, been left unresolved here and... Um, I feel like this person knows that only the clear, rational conversation can, um, in this matter, can just um, bring peace or uh, settle the things here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, extra messages here, some oracle messages. Let's see what else we need to know regarding uh, this person here. Maybe an advice for pile number one. Regarding this reading, any other messages here for pile number one? Okay, thank you. So, traveling lightly, simplify your life. Yeah, maybe this person needs to leave some baggages before coming in um, towards you. Maybe they are carrying a lot of uh, um, mental baggages here. Uh, could be that this person sabotaged the connection in the past. They were uh, afraid again. Uh, for others of you, maybe this person needed to cut off another person person from their life um, they needed to simplify their life maybe there was a situation a person here that was just uh, stressing this person out uh, causing a lot of stress for this person that they needed to cut off from their life here a third party situation before they uh, can come towards you here and uh, if this is you in the nine of swords energy as well um, you need to cut off some thoughts about the person a situation here and just leave some sort of um, baggages behind here because you, this person will come towards you no matter what i'm getting here and look at the bottom here you have the first uh, light beginning a new cycle so definitely i see this person really wants a new beginning or this could be for others of you are just cutting off someone that put you in a third party situation here um you're moving forward you're choosing the cell love and that's where you're going to have a new beginning here uh someone new totally new that's going to oh my god i almost see the camera someone totally new that is going to reach out to you here and you'll have a new beginning here in love maybe this person is going to make you feel worried here um they are going to i don't know the connection might feel very intense you're not going to be sure if you want to navigate this connection with uh with this person or not you'll be tempt tempted to because of your past uh, um situations relationship you've been uh, relationships you've been through uh you'll be tempted uh, to just cut this person off um so you'll have to make some sort of decision here at some point if you should move forward and choose yourself or um someone new oh look at the bottom of this deck true love this love is once in a lifetime so pile number one whoever you're dealing with uh look at this honesty is essential speak with love and truth like Whoever you are dealing with, I feel like this person, as I said, um, they were acting cold, detached. 
like they don't care trying to focus on their money their business especially if they were uh, having uh, another situation with someone else here but in reality you're always on this person mind and heart here and they realize that they need to be honest and that's essential here uh, they need to speak uh, their truth here in order to have this true love with you a love that uh, it's once in a lifetime maybe this uh, um, connection between the two of you pile number one felt so strong that scared the both of you here maybe that's why you both felt the need to separate from one another focus on other things uh, trying to get your mind of this or this is something that's going to happen in the near future especially if you're dealing with someone totally new here uh, depending uh, after when you're going to watch this video here as I said, it's a timeless reading, so it's going to apply whenever you're meant to come across this video. Let's see. Oops. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. I think this is enough here. You have number 22. This could be an uh, important 222 two, two here. So you might be seeing a lot of uh, repetitive numbers, especially 222. Two, two. Um, is what I'm getting here for some of you. Maybe for some of you, uh, this person could be in their 20s. Maybe you are here. Doesn't have to be, of course. Um, but we have 19 as well. So, could be someone younger here, maybe, that you're dealing with uh, after the numbers here. It tells me of someone that's a bit, uh, maybe, immature. For others of you, could be an age gap between the two of you. They could have gray hair. They're very wise, very... I don't know, look at this person, they have so much marble uh, on the place they are sitting on, so definitely someone very wealthy, maybe this person is investing, it's uh, dealing with the real estate environment, or they have business with the real estate, or bitcoins, uh, I don't know, I keep getting that, um, yeah, let's grab some extra messages here, okay let's see what else we can get for you my pile number one okay this one won't oh wow so many pink ones so let's see your messages here what else we have regarding this person here they could have fair skin This could be a past life relationship. They, they are having a warm heart. Oh wow, co-worker. Work environment related for sure was all over this reading. Confirmation message. Uh, famous so maybe for some of you this is someone that has some sort of uh, um, they could be a celebrity or maybe they have some sort of uh, uh, online um, following here they could be someone that's very muscular here Uh, maybe they could be an Asian here for some of you from Asia. And wow, pile number one, you hit the freaking jackpot. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> only confirmation messages, that's insane. Okay, let's grab some initials here as well. Oh, sorry for that and for the noise, guys. Okay, so you have Z uh, for some of you, S, 
oh for some of you maybe you met this person or you're going to meet them at the zoo maybe they're going to invite you to go and uh, see the zoo with them uh, i see spain here like see Senorita, <laughs> senor. Okay, you also have L here. Oh, you also have a D here. I'm getting this person might be wearing fancy brands like Dolce & Cabana is what I'm getting. Could be any initial for others of you. 53 of 53 on the clock as well. So as I was saying, you could be seeing a lot of repetitive numbers. Could be an R. I'm getting Romania for some of you. And any other? So let me grab this one. It's a bit aside. Another Z here or an N? I'm not sure. Oh, no, this is an N. No. No. Okay. B. And your last one here. J. A oh, job. Look at this. Like, job environment. Again, first thing that came to my uh pop up to me job like work environment a new job for some of you this is very important confirmation message all over the place i'm getting for some of you maybe uh this person could be from uh, syria i'm getting maybe for some of you uh always uh, could be important maybe uh, you're going to watch together or you sing together with this person the witcher from us also for some of you maybe this person has done uh, in their name here maybe their name could be Liz or Liz I'm getting like Liz or Liz with an S with a Z sorry for others of you their name could be Rin I don't know why I'm getting that but okay I'm also getting bus <laughs> only like you have oh my god you're dealing with someone that's a boss they could be your boss at your job place ooh, ooh. what are you doing here pile number one uh, actually it's with double s i don't know why i put double o i'm stupid sometimes i guess a bit tired but yeah, this is what I had for you guys. If this resonated with you, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, um, subscribe if you want to support this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one. Until then, stay blessed my friends and take care. Bye! My pile number two if you guys been drawn to this uh, jade crystal here or through the shower swords here um the person that wants to reach out to you here i feel like this is uh someone that um could be in a, some sort of authoritative position here for some of you uh or maybe they're just very confident very intelligent could be that they're in control of their thoughts feelings emotions uh for some of you this person may be someone from the past that um they were acting like cold calm collected detached from you is what i'm getting here um but i feel like this is someone that's very intelligent could be that um maybe this is how this person is uh finding you here maybe they find you to be someone that's very intelligent very confident 
maybe this person is very drawn to the way you're thinking uh, could be that they are a deep thinker possible someone who maybe it's uh, very logical very strategic here especially when it comes to their decisions um, to you here is what i'm getting the way this person is just sitting here very relaxed is I'm getting that um, this person is not rushing it to chat with you or to communicate with you. I feel like they're trying to maybe uh, come up with some sort of plan before they reach out to make some sort of strategy here. I feel like this person uh, is going to reach out to you uh, when the timing is going to feel right for them here. Maybe they could be even very observant of you uh, right now uh, they could be watching you from afar it could be that this is someone that is contemplating uh, maybe um, how, what's the best way to communicate with you here um, but yeah I see that with the sword here this uh, symbolizes uh, clarity communication the mental sharpness so um, this also often represents that cutting through the confusion to get to the truth so this tells me that uh, the way he, uh, the king here of sword is holding its um, sword uh, this person wants to approach you here pile two with this clear directed um, and even I feel like the important communication here could be that this person maybe wants to uh, resolve a matter here between the two of you maybe if there were some sort of misunderstandings here this person just uh, wants to bring clarity to your situation maybe for others of you this could be someone that wants to uh, offer you some sort of guidance could be a mentor that you're dealing with here um So yeah, uh, you're dealing with someone here, Pile 2, who's very logical, strategic, possible a leader in their own right, and uh, they want to speak with you here. They want to communicate something uh, that's very important for them. Um, so I feel like their messages will likely, uh, it's going to bring some sort of clarity uh, here regarding this unresolved issue between the two of you here. Maybe this is someone that wants to give you a piece of advice for some of you. Um, as I was saying, for some of you, this could be a mentor, a boss, a close friend. Or maybe that's uh, someone that's in a, some sort of authority position, leadership position, who, uh, who has been watching you maybe from afar and now feels ready to engage in this meaningful con uh, conversation with you. Uh, for others of you, this could be someone that has this romantic interest in you, uh, could be a romantic partner, a friend, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like uh, when um, this person is going to be ready to act, they will take uh, action towards you here. They will come with this honest, direct uh, discussion, communication. Um, so yeah, I feel like they they want to bring you some sort of important messages or just uh, clarify the situation between the two of you here. Okay, let's see. For pile number two, who's this person that wants to reach out? What they're thinking about pile number two? Ooh, what we have here? The Hierophant. What else? Could be a Taurus for some of you. Maybe for others of you. Could be uh, you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. We also have here the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, this is someone uh, that was like moving very slowly. There was, you felt like you were not doing any sort of progress with this person, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. Like there was very slow progress between you and this person here towards maybe commitment relationship. You waited a long period of, for this person to uh, show up their feelings, to take off this mask 
to say the least and just let you know how they truly feel uh, I feel like this person there was slow progress between you and this person ten of cups though here so this person whatever kind of communication will bring to you it's going to make you feel uh, emotional fulfilled here and you also have ten of wands here I feel that this is someone that feels very exhausted uh, very worried they could have a lot of burdens that are carrying at the moment and you also have the chariot here so could be for some of you maybe this is a, a family member with this ten of cups here that wants to reach out um, this person feels burdened by something maybe uh, for some of you, I'm getting that this is a family member that wants to borrow your car here. Maybe they have some troubles with their car, wants you to help them in some sort of way. Uh, maybe this person is uh, financially struggling right now. Uh, if it's a family, close family member here with the Five of Pentacles. This is someone that could struggle financially and maybe their car broke here and um, I, maybe they want you to give them a lift um, for others of you i feel like uh, whoever is this person here you also have the king of pentacles underneath it there is someone here that uh, with the five of uh, pentacles that either uh, gas uh, gaslighted you ghosted you maybe you did this to them they feel like left out in the cold they're missing you here um or maybe this is uh what you do to them they feel that uh, you turned your back on this person now this person is really missing you thinking about you and this connection a lot here um i feel like with the hair of found that this person wants something serious with the uh, ten of cups and the hair of um they're moving slowly but steady uh, towards this stability with you this, uh, towards this long-term uh, connection with you or at least this is what they want uh, whatever they have here with the knight of pentacles it's going to be something of a value here something that um as I was saying, it's going to make you feel fulfilled here. Uh, emotionally fulfilled is going to make you feel very happy. Um, you're, you're going to feel a lot of joy here. Definitely, it's bringing you this emotional fulfillment. But yeah, I'm keep looking at this here with this, I don't know, cloud, wind, veil here. I feel like this person judgment in the past like was very clouded when it comes to you here they were not thinking straight or maybe this person uh, with the hair of one ten of ones here I feel like they could be someone that was struggling uh, when it comes to commitment relationships maybe this was a type of a person that doesn't really gets committed to relationships um, pretty fast here and i feel like there with the knight of pentacles there was a very slow progress between you and this person here for others of you with the hair of fun could be that this person maybe was already in a commitment relationship when uh, you met them uh, but um again we have this seraphant here that's standing confidently here between the two pillars so um this is someone that um could be again very confident could be someone that's uh, very spiritual here for others of you a person that's um, having uh, strong beliefs um, traditions here uh, that they follow uh, could be that this is someone that uh, i don't know you have some sort of cultural differences uh, between uh, the two of you um, but they're very wise like this person is someone that um, could be a teacher for some of you um, could be a mentor for others of you maybe um, <laughs> I don't know, you'll hear from your psychiatry here. Um, it's what I'm getting for others of you. It could be a bishop in the church or a priest. Um, but um, 
I feel like this person is very well respected with the hair fund in their community here. Um, this is someone that cares about the reputation more than anything here. Uh, maybe they were afraid that uh, their reputation is going to get um, stained if they are going to be with you for some of you or they are going to be seen with you here. But definitely this is someone who holds some sort of position of authority or there may be some sort of uh, spiritual leadership in your life for others of you. Um, could be that they might want to offer you an advice for some of you, teach you something that's going to be very valuable and is going to help you in the future. For others of you, if you're going through tough times here, this could be someone that is going to help you or guide you through this uh, tough situation here. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this is someone who holds um, on their traditional values and they're very connected to um, some sort of organization, community here. Could be a spiritual mentor for some of you. Someone who has this deep knowledge uh, on a subject that you might need guidance on is what I'm getting. It could be that this is a student uh, re teacher relationship between the, the two of you here. Maybe they want to help you learn something here. Maybe they, this person wants to assist in your personal growth, guide you along a path that uh, they feel that it's uh, in your best interest here. Now, I'm also getting for some of you, this person, I feel like they were having in the past, as I said, either problems with being in commitment relationships and they were just acting like very cold, uh, calculated, detached here, very logical. Like this is someone that was uh, following their uh, mind instead of their heart here. Um, I feel like, um, yeah, definitely for others of you, as I said, maybe they were the one that was in this, uh, um, commitment relationship here. Or could be that uh, this person that's going to reach out to you here is someone that maybe you respect them for their wisdom, for their intellect, like you have the King of Swords and the Hierophant as well. That's very knowledgeable here. But again, I feel like there are there is something of value, of importance here. Like you have the King of Swords, um, the Hierophant and uh, the Knight of Pentacles here that represents something of information of, of value here that this person wants to give you whatever that is uh, with uh, this uh, Knight of Pentacles here again with the horse here uh, symbolizes action movement so this person is definitely is going to reach out to you uh, could be between uh, five and seven uh, and ten days from now on uh, so after you're going to watch this video it's going to be a timeless reading whenever you're coming across uh, this video that's how uh, when this uh, is going to apply to you here so it could be five and ten days here um but yeah i see that this person here on this horse the horse is like doing some sort of movement so i feel like if the progress between you and this person in the past were like very slow moving like i don't know i need to carefully plan every move before i can come towards you here pile number two i feel like this person is finally uh, starting to realize something starting to move forward here uh so yeah um this is going to be um steady um 
I feel like this person with the Knight of Pentacles, they've been thinking about this for a while here and I feel like they're now going to be ready to take action in this responsible, thoughtful manner here. Uh, I feel like this person was not someone that was very responsible in the past of their actions here. They were not very thoughtful of others. They could have been a bit selfish here is what I'm getting. Um, but they're not impulsive again. Uh, they're... Um, I feel like this person give it a lot of thought with the King of Swords and this Knight of Pentacles. They took their time, this this sweet time to plan everything to every detail here. Um, I feel like um, whatever this approach is going to be is going to be done with care though. Um, but they want to ensure that everything is in order before they are going to reach out to you here. Also with the white horse usually represents purity, honesty, determination here and you have two uh, cards that represent the same thing with the chariot here. So this person is very determined to come towards you with some sort of important communication here pile to um, I feel like uh, you, this is uh, going to be someone that you can depend on, um, that has, um, that values integrity here and uh, they want to communicate with you maybe because they believe it's the right thing to do so. Maybe they believe that the, they uh, own to you, um, there is something that's bothering them with this Ten of uh, Pentacles here. They believe that um, they're carrying a very great burden uh, on their shoulders and they just need to clear the things out between the two of you maybe there was some sort of a misunderstanding be, uh, here or not whatever is the case uh, there is something that's bothering them and uh, it's giving them a really tough time here like putting them in through this heavy deep thinking here uh, so maybe uh, this is someone that wants now to build some sort of trust if uh, maybe they want to gain your trust now uh, they want to create some sort of stability uh, between the two of you here um, they they are thinking about the long-term stability with you here because we have the knight of pentacles ten of cups here so this tells me they want stability here uh, their conversation is going to be around that and uh, now with the pentacle here, uh, yeah, definitely this person finally found some sort of direction, clarity uh, towards where they want to head with you here. They have this clear goal now or message they want to convey to you, pile two. Uh, could be that they've been working uh, towards something here. Um, maybe they've been working on their finances. They try to focus on their finances before here. Um their career maybe uh, they have some sort of long-term project they wanted to finish before they can come in maybe this person in the past was uh, not financially stable and uh, maybe they were afraid that they cannot offer you any stability if they're not financially stable is what i'm getting but um i feel like you're going to hear some sort of positive messages from this person here Whoever you're dealing with, I, I'm getting that they're highly intelligent here. Um, but yeah, um, this is going to be someone that's going to be very dedicated this time and very reliable, not like they were in the past. Um, I feel like this is someone that's also very patient, uh, very considerate, and um, they want to have this stab uh, stable, long, stable, long-lasting relationship with you. Um, they want to discuss something that's going to be very practical here and important to you here, my pile too. Could be worry, uh, work related for some of you finances. Maybe if you. Um, been waiting for some sort of income from someone could be this uh, knight of pentacles representing that for some of you especially if you're struggling financially here with this five of pentacles um but yeah there is something that i am getting from this person energy here that there is something they need to address here this time something they've been working on planning on uh 
took their sweet time there was no progress between you and this person whatever you were working on project relationship i feel like there, this was not making any progress maybe this person needed to take a step back and reassess the situation and see how they can come up with this amazing plan here um yeah um I feel like this is this is someone who been thinking the things through here for sure. Uh, took their time to do so though. Um, now uh, with um, this um, ten of uh, what's called ten of cups here. Um, this represents that emotional abundance completion here. So, it tells me that uh, maybe this person that wants to reach out to you here, when they, when they are with you, they feel this, uh, they feel emotional fulfillment with you. Um, or maybe they want to create this emotional harmony with you here. Whatever this person wants to speak with you could be related for some of you about the matters of the heart. Could be about the family for others of you. Uh, or this deep emotional connection that this person is feeling towards you here and they want to maybe link on the table this time let you know um, how they truly feel about this and what they want from this relationship with you here I feel like uh, this person wants stability and commitment here uh, for others of you, the Hierophant here and the Ten of Cups could be that maybe they even want to marry you for some of you here. This person really give it a lot of thought and they've been planning carefully here. So, yeah. I feel like uh, whoever they are, they have positive intentions and they want to express their feelings or bring this sense of closure, fulfillment in your relationship with them. Um, the, this person is coming from a place of this emotional stability, joy, and maybe um, they want to share with you some good news here, for sure. But with the falcon here, I feel like this is someone who is just looking at the bigger picture, like they have the long term in their mind here. Also, the falcon, it's that uh, symbol of uh, protection here. So, uh, this is someone that wants to protect you in some sort of way. Like, they want to be your, um, um, what's called, the prince in shining armor that is going to defeat the evil for you and offer you stability in the long term, the happy ever after. It's what I'm getting here. I don't know, I'm imagining this person like being like that. Uh, could be... Um, that this person, um, I don't know, wants to offer you some sort of protection here. They want to protect your feelings here, uh, the relationship here, especially if you've been going through a lot of challenges uh, with the mountains here, uh, with the Ten of Swords, if you've been crossing a lot of uh, challenges with this person, I feel like this person is ready to uh, fight off and be victorious here with the Chariot. Um, I feel like this person is just seeing the connection with you as something important for them, as long-lasting. They see potential here. You're bringing more fulfillment and happiness here to this person. They just want to offer you their support here, whoever they are. Or for others of you, could be that uh, there is a family member that needs your support in times of need. And they are going to uh, look for you for guidance, for, I don't know, money, for a good advice. I'm also seeing this ank here at the bottom. So this represents that vitality here, that life here. Maybe this person wants to bring <laughs> to life another person. Like they, they want to make you their wife, their husband. I don't know what's the case for you here. Uh, but I feel like they want to bring birth to something here with you. They want to have create this family uh, is what I'm getting here with this ankh uh, could also represent the ankh could be that uh, eternal connection here between this mm, you and this person like this is going to be something that's going to last your entire life here whoever this is here for some of you um 
I'm getting that this person with you feels uh, emotional security as well with that Ten of Cups and the King, um, the Knight, sorry, of um, Pentacles here. So, yeah, they want to share their feelings. They, will, I feel like this person wants to let you know how they truly feel about you. Uh, they want to um, make you understand that you're very important for them. Like, um, I don't know, I feel like this person wants to discuss how to create or um, this um, emotional world with them, like this relationship with them. They want to share their vision, how they see a family with you, uh, what's the long, uh, their uh, long-term plan here with you. Um, they want to have this emotional closeness with you for sure, whoever this is. I, I'm getting that this is someone that's ready to take this relationship on a deeper level here. Um, maybe this person for others of you is someone that's been reflecting on how much you mean to them. And um, they really want to communicate their feelings here clearly with intention. I feel like this person could be that's very emotionally grounded. Uh, they, they've been they're in control of their emotions they were uh this is someone that was acting very cold detached like very like he was always the person that's very logical following their mind instead of their heart even though this person has uh all these big plans with you here i feel like they were there's another type to show you through their words uh, this is someone that uh, brings facts uh, takes action here is what i'm getting um so yeah i expect from this person to reach out in this very loving open uh, positive way towards you this time here in order to um have this emotional bond here with you they they feel the need to connect emotionally this time with you here uh could it be if you left them if you ghosted them or if they done that to you i feel like that's when this person is realized that okay i actually have feelings for pile number two and i don't know what i was doing why i was acting uh, like this could be a lawyer for some of you maybe this is someone that works in the military could be a surgeon as well i'm getting for some of you uh, a medic maybe a judge for others of you could be i don't know but uh, yeah um they 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 feel like this is the right time for them to reach out and discuss something important uh here with you that it's uh, about the emotions about creating something a family with you strengthen the relationship between the two of you for others of you maybe this is a proposal i don't know yet um but um whatever this is this what they want to share with you i feel like it's really burdening for this person here like um or maybe there this person is someone that in the past uh, they had a lot of responsibilities that's been accumulated over time here and because of it um they didn't put you in the first place they kind of put everything um, on a priority level but not to you you're open, always the last priority for them um Mm, could be that for others of you this is still someone that's very entangled in their responsibilities and it's making it difficult for this person to find uh, relief here could be that they're very overwhelmed uh, by their thoughts of you by obligations whether work personal emotional uh, i feel like this person is about to uh, reach to a breaking point where um, they just need to share their feelings with you is what i'm getting here uh, whoever this is is someone that's just carrying too much on their shoulders um they might even be someone that needs your support at the moment maybe an advice from you maybe a listening ear whoever this is maybe um this person it's been dealing with all these burdens like alone for a long for a while now and um 
they I feel like this person could be losing their mind with this ten of wands they feel like it's time for them to communicate their struggles they want to open up here is what I'm getting um, so they might expect um, some sort of support from you here I, don't know, I feel like this is someone maybe that's struggling or they took a lot or oh, whether it's in their personal life whether it's in their relationships i don't know what's going on here but this person have reached a point where um, they need to share their load with you here It could be that this person been trying to handle everything on their own. They maybe kept it secret from you. They uh, were trying to be very confident, appear very confident in front of you, in control of uh, themselves, over their emotions. Uh, they try to act cold, detached, but in reality, this person, it's like crumbling. Their world is crumbling, is what I'm getting with this 10 of uh, ones. Uh, this is someone that's very under a lot of pressure here and they need someone to talk to maybe it could be a friend for others of you they need to uh, speak with you about their uh, marriage here maybe his marriage this person marriage is just crumbling down and they need to have someone support because this person could be with feeling abundant here they feel like they don't have anyone they can rely on they don't trust anyone here except you you're the one that um has this person trust gain their trust here um so yeah so yeah this person is having a lot of responsibilities maybe this is someone that even uh they are feeling responsible for their family here maybe and they feel like they can't do it anymore it's too much for them could be that this person uh, is feeling responsible for the community they're uh, in I, I don't know uh with uh, the chariot though um there this this is someone who's um taking control over their life here and they're determined to and focused to move forward here uh, come towards you uh, move the connection with you forward here get in a committed relationship with you depending on your um, i don't know uh case or your situation here but um, this is someone with strong ambitions and they're ready to take action here they're coming towards you with confidence and clear direction this time pile too I feel like this person wants to, to speak to you because they have made a decision uh, to move um, forward uh, with something significant in their life. Um, they are going to share their plans with you. Um, you could be, I don't know, soulmates here or twin flames. I see the duality between the two of uh, these things here the balance between the light and the dark you could be there into the young or vice versa here but uh, i feel like this person is feeling at balance at ease when they are in touch with you when they communicate with you they could be seeing you as a very wise leader maybe a wise mentor advisor teacher i feel like um this person is ready to overcome the challenges here especially if you had some sort of romantic connection with this person um they're ready to be victorious here that terminated to move this connection forward have stability have commitment um take care of their challenges from their life here from the burden uh, burdens uh, relieve uh, him themselves here from whatever is uh, weighing on their shoulders here maybe this is someone that needed to master something in their life before they can uh, come towards you here as i said could have been that this person 
in the past for some of you was not financially stable here but um i feel like they're following the intuition could be uh, also that you're dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn for some of you cancer i'm also seeing here i'm also seeing uh sag as well but uh yeah they, they are determined to make uh, this um relationship go move forward they they have clear goals about what, where this connection is headed here and they want to take control over the um, situation here so they will share with you their next steps and um their plans but they want to have success with you here pile too so they're going to maybe for some of you this person is going to invite you somewhere to travel somewhere i'm seeing here traveling between you and uh, from i don't know you're going to travel somewhere could be at the mountain sign with this person this person needs to relax <laughs> i feel like they just want to take you somewhere um have uh, some sort of a journey, adventure with you somewhere could be uh, you're going with the family uh, somewhere you're going to travel with the family for some of you but yeah uh, this person has a lot of concerns here with the five of pentacles they're not feeling secure they're not feeling stable um yeah, they're going through challenging times again we have the mountains five of pentacles ten of wands this person is going through a lot in their life at the moment maybe their business is not going too well if they have a business here or in the past was not going too well or uh, i don't know they're like going to let you know what's all about it but um as i feel like for some of you this person is someone that's been facing some sort of financial hardship insecurity uh they could feel emotionally lost here like um this person feels like they lost you and they're determined to win you back and uh, i feel like they're struggling and they need your support here you're the only one that can be this person uh, pillar of support here uh, you're the only one that um this person trusts here whoever they are and you're the only one that can make them feel emotionally fulfilled here and without you this person world i feel like it's just crumbling uh, they can take their mind off things they feel like uh, they're being punished for uh, ghosting you maybe for some of you could be that this person needs some sort of healing to be done here or they just need a, a listening uh, ear shoulder to cry on they feel lost overwhelmed by their current circumstances and i feel like this one uh, this person wants to reach out to you in hope in order to find clarity solace here i don't know with the eye here i feel like this person needs someone that just wants to be heard and understood uh, i feel like they could be someone that doesn't have plenty friends uh, people that are close to them that they can open up to um so maybe they see you uh, someone that uh, again um, can offer them a good advice uh, support out of clarity uh, regarding a situation a good word from you they need um maybe this is someone who just as i was saying um, feeling visible maybe neglected in their life maybe this person is someone that has some childhood issues um this is someone that uh, been neglected by their parents maybe they never experienced love uh, in the past maybe this person was like just thrown from a, a place to another their parents didn't love them didn't want them they 
he didn't offer uh, this person uh, much uh, support, love in their life, and maybe that's why this person is acting cold, detached, not showing how to express their feelings, and uh, uh, they were afraid of commitment. Maybe they needed to realize those things that um, the way they acted, it was because of their parents, childhood trauma, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is feeling neglected here. When they're hoping that uh, by talking to you, they can restore maybe a sense of balance, regain their confidence, um, feel that emotional fulfillment again. Uh, if this is someone that, as I was saying, they they were moving very slow, I feel like uh, they were not uh, prepared or ready for a commitment, I feel like they're regretting it right now. This person is really missing you here, whoever this is, family member, a member, sorry, a close friend, a blower, uh, someone that um, has a crush on you. They're missing speaking to you, communicating, um, having you around. They could go through a painful phase at the moment. So yeah, uh, this person is uh, learning how through hardship, uh, certain lessons uh, in their life at the moment is what I'm getting here. Whoever this person is, you know better probably who they are. But uh, let's see, any other messages here for pile number one, or two, sorry, regarding this reading? Who's this person that is going to reach out soon? Thank you. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies a great bounty. Uh, it kind of came in reverse. I feel like this person in the past they didn't realize uh, how great of a treasure you were, and they didn't realize how much your nurturing uh, energy, um, your giving loving uh, personality it meant to them they didn't realize in the past how much you uh, caring and loving you were with them they were just acting um, cold detached like i don't care but they're definitely realizing that they were having a treasure by their side and um, now they're uncovering seeing the truth here that's why i feel like this person is prepared to have success in this connection with you now and uh, let's see what else here oh look at this at the bottom breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand, definitely this person is going through a lot, having so much to go through, learn from, they needed to realize something here in order to have maybe some sort of uh, um, personal growth here to learn some lessons. Could be that this person was so absorbed by their own problems, they ignored you completely. Uh, they were just using you, being there for them when they needed, when there was uh, fitted for them. And when you needed, maybe this person was not really there for you. And they might realize this now. They are coming to uh, this uh, breakthrough. Realizations. Okay, you have two cards. Have faith. Trust uh, your faith in this situation. So, this person is hopeful. Uh, could be a bit dreamful. That um, everything is going to turn out well uh, between the two of you. That you're going to forgive them here. Or they're uh, trying to be hopeful regarding this situation between the two of you. And you also have do something for someone, give your attention to another. So I feel like this person is going to offer their attention to you now. Or maybe they're hoping that uh, you're just going to reach out, give them uh, the attention they need in order to uh, make themselves feel better here. 
so let's see some extra messages for you pile number two okay who's this person here for pile number two that wants to reach out okay i think those were enough here so what you have here oh, what i told you yeah this person wants you to come to them no, oh, this is okay. Yeah, probably this person is missing you like crazy pile two. They could be an introvert. Travel, okay. Uh, with a chariot. This person could be at a distance from some of you. Maybe they're they're thinking about traveling, coming towards you uh, here with a chariot and travel car. For others of you, I feel like uh, you're going to travel somewhere either with your family, friend. Um, this person is going to invite you to travel somewhere with them. They could have a dimple. They could be a singer for some of you. Or maybe they like to sing. Maybe they're singing in the church at the church uh, choir. Oh, this person wants to sex sexting you uh, to do sexting with you. Maybe you're going to travel for some of you at the Disneyland here. Okay, they're going to take you by surprise with an invitation to the Disneyland uh, in one two months here. Maybe that's when you're going to travel with them. Maybe that's when this person is going to reach out. Uh, they could be a softy. They have a great sense of humor. YouTube, maybe they have a YouTube channel. Maybe you have a YouTube channel. That's how you met. You, I don't know. Maybe they want to collaborate to you, do some YouTube movie, movies with you, videos. Wedding ring bells. Okay, with the hair on, definitely someone. Uh, it's ready to pop up the question for you, pile two. For some, this could be a water sign. What else? Uh, flowers. So this person could be romantic. They are going to bring you flowers. Maybe they love your flowery scent. Oh, for some, this could be a secret admirer that is going to reach out. Maybe that's why they are feeling so burdened and thinking about it so much and taking their time. <laughs> okay, for some of this is a definitely a secret admirer, a brand new person. A love interest here I see interesting maybe you meet them at Disneyland if you've been this year or recently or if you've been traveling somewhere you met someone new exchange phones exchange you the social media maybe and they're a badass here okay um, let me grab some initials as well for you guys so for pile number two, some initials here. Okay, let's see. So we have L U what else? C Lucy. I don't know. Luca Lucy and J O Jo Joey George Another uh, L Another C I definitely I see a Lucy Nick I'm getting also Okay, that was it.
so these were the initials that i had for you con maybe they were a con artist they tried to con you in the past year whoever this is johnny i'm also seeing as well but yeah um this is uh, what i had for you pile number two if this resonated with you please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like comment subscribe if you want to support this channel and uh, hopefully i'll see you next time stay blessed until then and take care bye my pile three if you guys been drawn to this uh red jasper crystal here or to the shelf stuff this is going to be a reading regarding the person that is going to reach out to you soon why uh this person wants to reach out so whoever this is uh i feel like there is um a person that's very drawn to you it's fixated to you i feel like this person has a burning passion for you they find you to be very very attractive like look at this flame here that uh, this person is uh, having for you all this uh, uh, what's called attraction like this person is very 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 drawn to you here pile number three whoever that wants to reach out i feel like this is someone that's very charismatic uh could have these leadership qualities for others of you um whoever this is this individual here pile three i feel like uh could hold uh, some sort of position of influence here and i feel like this is someone that's very determined um and has this strong leadership skills i'm getting um they uh, i feel like this person um you inspire them in some sort of way here but yeah they have a lot of passion attraction uh this could be someone that's very creative uh inspiring um someone that's full of creative ideas here very ambitious following their goals um whatever this person is putting in their mind i feel like they're going to uh, see it uh, be done completed here and i feel like this person wants to share that fire with you especially uh, i feel like uh yeah this person really wants to be very touchy here they want to feel your skin they want to uh, be intimate with you i'm getting here especially at night they're thinking about you quite a lot here pile three um I feel like this person is driven uh, by a lot of energy here. Um, maybe for others of you, this could be someone that wants to collaborate with you here. Um, this is someone that's full of enthusiasm here uh, when they are thinking about you as well. Um, they are very dynamic, bold here I'm getting as well. Someone that's very full of life um they have this vibrant personality here very passionate like there is a lot of chemistry attraction between you and this person whoever this is and uh, i feel like this is a risk taker they are not afraid to take risks here and i feel like um this person is seeing a lot of potential in the relationship here either it's in the work environment could be on the creativity side or um relationships i feel like this person sees a lot of potential with you here and they have this very bold unconventional approach here uh, like uh, this person is just going to let you know what's on their mind what they're thinking what they want they're not going to be the bush around it uh, the, any situation here is what i'm getting but well, they're very stable very powerful here um, they are feeling very secure very confident charismatic here and i feel like this person knows what they want they're like very determined to have you, you you're on their mind uh, they have set their eyes on you and this person knows that you're the one that they want here uh, they want to have maybe a solid foundation here and they want to move this uh, uh, relationship with confidence forward here with you so yeah um 
I don't know, um, they want to move, if this is a project a plan or work environment, I feel like this person uh, just wants to get you involved here, um, they want to use your creative side maybe, um, maybe they you're a visionary and this person wants to use your ideas, uh, the way you're seeing things maybe in a project. Um, they see potential, a lot of potential in you. They want to achieve something maybe significant with you. Maybe they want to collaborate on some sort of a project here. Um, but uh, this is someone that's focused on um, results here. They, and they're very, very charismatic, whoever this is, like... There's a lot of passion and attraction, I feel like, between um, the two of you here. They usually even have uh, um, common goals with this person as well, is what I'm getting. Maybe this person is just uh, uh, wants to be part of their team for some of you. They want to collaborate, as I said, on a project. Uh, or maybe this person is just going to require your skills, your input, your support in some sort of way here. So... Um, the chariot came out definitely they're determined to come towards you here have victory so let's see who's this person that wants to reach out to pile number three here soon here and what they're thinking what's on their mind why they want to reach out okay oh wow the devil definitely i see <laughs> a lot of passion like this person it's really feeling a strong bond when it comes to you here you also have the four of pentacles and the emperor here yeah this is uh, could be an aries for some of you sag leo um i'm also getting a capricorn here and guess what at the bottom of the deck king of wands like wow um yeah this person is going to chase you i see them wanting to flirt with you here uh they're determined to take action towards you uh this could be for some of you maybe uh someone that you're working on on a higher position with the hierophant um, the king of um once twice uh, popping up here for you uh, but with that devil energy this person definitely has a lot of desire here like sexually they are very drawn and attracted to you this person is going crazy over you here this person definitely wants to be with you have you um, be very intimate here with this devil energy and the king of state uh, ones and of course with this uh, four of pentacles here could be that this person is someone that is looking to have some sort of stability here uh, with you but I feel like uh, at the same time this person was trying to hold back their passion their attraction they uh, they were just holding back a lot here like not letting you uh, know how draw uh, drawn they are to you how much attraction they have towards you um, they maybe try to um, play it cool uh, for others of you, maybe this was someone that was a player uh, with this king of fire, king of wands energy uh, and the devil could be that this person uh, was uh, kind of a player here. Um, maybe they are a single father here for some of you with the emperor. But... Um, I feel like um, this person likes what they see in you, like they're very drawn and attracted to your energy, to the way you're looking, um, they find you to be very beautiful, very attractive here as well. I'm also getting with this king of wands here that this person that uh, wants to um, is going to reach out to you soon here pile three 
uh, could be that and not only that they're very very drawn to you and very very attracted to you but I feel like this person is also very very charming as I said and very good looking as well like they they look hot <laughs> uh, whoever this is uh, I feel like uh, maybe this is someone that's in the center of the tension as well um, because I, I'm getting that this is someone that everyone wants this person do because of their appearance because maybe Maybe of their style the way they are dressing here um, could be uh, maybe due to their position finances here um, authority they have power they are holding I feel like whoever this is uh, there are a lot of people that wants to be with this person is what I'm getting here I'm also looking at the king of fire twice here emperor and the devil here definitely you're dealing with someone that's very powerful here like um it's having a lot of authority and power this person whoever you're dealing with here um also of course uh, with uh, this devil here i'm getting that uh, oh my god <laughs> seriously i cannot pick it up okay i'm also getting that this could be someone that's very obsessed with you with the devil energy here uh, they could be very addictive to you uh, obsessed here even uh, i feel like you're just driving this person crazy here uh, for others of you this could be maybe a karmic connection for some of you not for everyone of course but i feel like you're heavily on this person mind here like I see so much obsession, pa passion, attachment, attraction that this person is feeling towards you here. Um, I feel like they could be even, I don't know, studying you, uh, observing you, watching you from afar here with uh, the devil energy. Um, I feel like for others of you with the devil, maybe this person is just struggling with their inner demons or maybe they have some sort of addictions, the toxic habits, maybe um, this is someone that with heavy smoker, a drinker, um, a gambler, uh, I don't know could be for others of you they have these unhealthy attachments um, I'm getting that they could be someone who's just uh attracted to uh, uh, toxic relationships i don't know if you've been drawn to pile number one i kind of got the same vibe on uh, on that reading as well um so uh, if you've been uh, undecisive you should watch uh, which pile i don't know maybe there are some messages for you in that pile as well for some of you but um I feel like this is someone that might be, uh, I don't know, sexually addicted, like 12-12 uh, from the clock when I said that, okay. Um, I feel like this person was a player, like they had the, the attraction of many, um, the attention of everyone uh, because they hold some sort of power, authority, maybe they're very wealthy, I don't know how was the deal with this person, but I f maybe their appearance is just making everyone come towards this person and this person was used with being a player, like uh, being with someone, uh, doing their business, having one night stand and after that moving on here. But something has happened here um with this devil energy like they started to become obsessed with you uh, this person was maybe even having trust issues with the four of pentacles here like this is someone that been holding back due to their trust issues here for others of you maybe they're afraid that um they were in so many um unhealthy relationships like everyone used them for their power for their finances for something for their influence here um and um 
they were just being used by others and maybe when they met you uh, and they felt this insane chemistry and uh, this insane attraction towards you here pile three uh, i feel like this person maybe they started having trust issues they started to um, fight with their inner demons again uh, they were afraid that you're going to uh, be with them or want to be with them or you're attracted to them due to their influence money and you're just going to be like one of their ex relationships i feel like you might uh, this person might uh, uh, you reminded them of their uh, ex relationships they've been in here uh, or maybe this is how this person made you feel uh, it could be that you both trigger something in one another um, and you both might have trust issues when it comes to one another here is what i'm getting with the devil energy four of uh, pentacles and the king of fire emperor energy i don't know maybe they were even playing at some point the sugar daddy role with the emperor here and maybe uh, they kind of loved being those kind of relationships especially if this is someone that's very wealthy um i don't know guys you know your situation better here but uh, this person definitely has some toxic habits unhealthy attachments here maybe this person is just letting uh, the um, uh, to be controlled by uh, desires and fears here and this is just impacting their ability to move forward in life and have healthy relationships or whatever is it. Uh, but I feel like this person is like obsessing over you uh, here and they feel that pull towards you. No matter how much this person is with the four of pentacles is trying to hold back, uh, they feel chained to you. They feel tied to you in, um, and they can't even explain it why they feel the this pull towards you they feel like no matter how much they try to break the chains here between the two of you uh feels kind of impossible very very hard to break off from this kind of connection with the devil um maybe this is someone that's in the in the bondage here with the chains um i don't know they could have some kind of fetish, you know, better here. I have no clue. But um, maybe this person could be even that uh, they're been in the past year caught in a situation where they're just losing control over it here. And they need uh, the... Um, uh, what's called? Uh, they need to clear the things out here. Um maybe this is even someone that might be dealing with maybe emotional mental physical uh, problems limitations uh, here for some of you whatever is holding this person back or was holding this person back here uh, I feel like they're trying to escape it here with uh, this devil energy. They want to push forward in some sort of way. But yeah, this person definitely has lots of passion here. I can't emphasize how much desire this person has for you. And they see you as being a temptation to them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, for others of you, could be that... Um, they are feeling overwhelmed here by emotions that's why they want to reach out here um with the fire i'm sensing a, a sense of urgency uh, this person wants to come in and get in touch with you pretty badly here i i feel like you're definitely driving this person crazy here uh, could be that they might be even stuck in another situation here with the devil and the uh, chains here maybe they're in a karmic relationship for some of you um, but this person has fears they are afraid of change or maybe they're uh, if they're in another situation with someone else involved could be a third party energy involved here i feel like this person having that fear of leaving behind whatever comfortable for them even if it's 
harmful at the moment. Even if though this person does not feel uh, secure, they don't feel any love there. I feel like this person just got used to um, the situation here. Or I don't know, maybe they're being threatened not to leave a certain person here. I, I don't know who they're dealing with. Uh, but uh, could be that this person they're having fear of the unknown uh, but they know that they need to do some kind of change maybe that's why they even want to come in and communicate with you uh, definitely they are struggling with their inner demons here they are fighting their own battles here uh, with this card Maybe this is someone that's, that was emotionally unavailable or unstable here. Um, and this is someone that needed to feel secure here before they can open up to you, maybe. But whatever it is, I feel like with the water here that... Uh, uh, this person might be feeling overwhelmed by their emotions here and they're not sure how to express them to you here, pile number three. I don't know. Uh, they're caught up in situations, whether it's a relationship, addiction, emotional cycles, and they feel that they're losing control over whatever they are going through here. Maybe this is someone that always needs to be feel validated as well. And maybe you didn't offer them that validation they always been seeking. And this created that uh, uh, bond between you and them. They might even be dealing with deep emotional issues, desires that... Uh, uh, it's kind of controlling, taking over this uh, person here. Maybe um, with all the confidence that this person is exuding here, uh, all the energy that we are seeing um, from the cards, maybe they're even pretending that everything is okay on the surface. But internally, I feel like this person is like feeling overwhelmed uh, by their emotions, by the, how, the, how much attraction they have towards you and desire here. Um, I feel like this person could be in a difficult place when it comes to their emotions or mental health here or even physically here. And maybe this person for some of you is going to come in and just admit that they need help here. Uh, they want to confront their problems. Um, they want to bring clarity, light to whatever happened between the two of you here. I feel like they're, this person is someone that's putting a brave face here, acting as a warrior, very confident. Uh, but um, yeah, I feel like they're going to op open up with their struggles, with uh, uh, if they were holding back in the past year, this person is ready to open up. But again, with the snakes here, I feel like they're going to be very cautious still. Uh, could be a third party situation, a karmic, I don't know if it's between you and them or between this person and someone else, but we have the snake, we have the devil, definitely there is some sort of karmic um, ties here between you and this person here. So, um, again, maybe this is someone that's very... Um, focused on their material wealth, on their possessions here. Yeah, they just care about their stability. They could had uh, had some ego problems here. Um, they're very careful here. They're going to be very careful and very strategic when they're coming, uh, when they're going to communicate with you. But I feel like this person is uh, at the same time feel, is feeling very anxious about losing you here or whatever they were for um as i said for others of you it could be that this person is just afraid that you just want their wealth here um they're um, you you just want to use them for their power for their status for their looks for uh, the way they're looking they might be afraid that you don't have they are not going to have security with you here 
yeah they have lots of fears devil four of pentacles uh, and they are very cautious this is someone that really has a lot of trust issues they've been through a lot of unhealthy relationships here um, could be that they might be even afraid of losing control of their feelings uh, they might be afraid to open up to be vulnerable uh, here Maybe this is someone that could be a more private person uh, here that uh, wants to keep things private as well. Okay. Maybe with the Four of Pentacles, I'm also getting that. Uh, Maybe this person is someone who feels stuck in their life at the moment. They might go through the um, middle age crisis for some of you with the emperor. Maybe this is someone that who is going to open up to you about their problems, struggles, fears. Maybe they, they feel a lot of anxiety here. And they have a lot of concerns regarding the situation with you. They want to move forward here. Like with the king of uh, wands, twice emperor. This is someone that wants to take action. But there, there is something holding them back here. Um, they feel stuck in a situation. They're, but they're afraid to take risks. And disturb the security that they're feeling, that comfort that they've been in until now. I don't know uh, who you're dealing with here. But uh, could be that this person is someone that could have uh, their own ch kids, could be the father of your child here for some of you, maybe, or your, the mother of your child. But this is your divine masculine that you're dealing with, with the emperor is what I'm getting. Uh, this could be someone that's very tall, very confident, again, uh, in control of... Um, or trying to appear in control of their life emotions but they're not uh could be a ceo could have their own business here could be your boss for some of you um i don't know maybe you're working in the same organization with this uh, person here um but this person wants to have a serious conversation with you here regarding the responsibility maybe in the connection, in the situation here. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of influence with the scepter here. This is someone with a lot of influence. Maybe they're afraid that they're going to lose their stability here. Their influence, their power in some sort of way. They're going to show up vulnerability. Maybe for others of you, this could be uh, your... Um, boss here uh someone on a higher position that wants to dis discuss something with you uh where you need to step up and take more responsibilities as well for other server with this emperor um they see potential of in you here to have this uh leadership role in the team you're in or at the workplace you're uh, at I feel like this is someone that uh, has a lot of respect for you though. I don't know what you've done to this person, but they really respect you a lot. And I feel like this is someone that uh, sees you as being very hardworking and having a lot of discipline. And they really appreciate your qualities is what I'm getting. They really see a lot of potential and they want to work with you here. But this is someone that wants to have stability with you, a solid foundation here, to create a solid foundation with you. Um, uh, 
Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be a mentor, boss, family figure, maybe a, a father. Maybe this could be for some of you, your father here. Wants to offer you more responsibilities, especially if this is uh, someone that has their own business. Maybe they are trying to teach you something to um, that um, how the work environment works, how the things are working in the, the business. Uh, so you can learn from them and uh, take the legacy um, from this person, from your father is what I'm getting. But they have clear plans and structures here that they want to build with you. Uh, they want to give you more responsibilities here is what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, as I was saying, this is your uh, divine counterpart is what I'm getting here. Um, the masculine energy that you're dealing with. Uh, again, more confident energy vibe, vibes from this person with the king of uh, wands again. Like, uh, could be a business partner here, someone that you're working with. Uh, it's all about the finances, legacy here, ten of pentacles, four of pentacles. Uh, the, even the devil energy could be speaking about that uh, material uh, world here, things that are going to happen in your uh, 3d world uh so um, yeah this is someone that's very passionate uh, driven by their passions and um they 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 see their they are looking at you they keep um, an eye on you they're very focused on you here uh and um they 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 see a lot of potential this person really has a lot of desire for you here uh, this is someone that has a lot of knowledge. They're very wise. Could be someone that's older than you here. Could be same gender here for some of you. Um, or maybe both of you um, having some power struggle here. You both, you both of you could be in that uh, masculine energies here. Could be some competition for others of you. Um, but it's a good competition. It's the healthy kind of the type here. Um, this person is just eager to take action here. Um, they they have their eyes on you here, uh, pile three. This is could be a colleague, a friend, romantic partner who just want uh, to be with you uh, where did i put the deck i forgot oh <laughs> i couldn't see it i was wondering where is it i i'm, I'm, I'm i want to clarify a bit um this um devil energy okay so for some of you with the hair of fun clarified by the devil this person is stuck in another relationship a long-term relationship yeah this person lied to you in the past year with the seven of swords uh they thought they can play games with you uh, they just wanted a nice stand i'm getting here from majority of you but guess what they fell for their own games here with the seven of swords so joke on this person jokes on them play stupid games win stupid prizes so i feel like this is what this person done why because you cut them off on you you cut them on their bullshit like this person i feel like they were hiding the fact that they are in a commitment relationship with the moon card and um Seven of Swords, uh, Devil, definitely this person did not play fair and nice with you, but with the Queen of uh, uh, Swords here, I feel like you just, you saw through it. You, you, you told them the way you're seeing the situation and this person is like, wow, he's smart or she's smart here, like, wow. <laughs> Uh, I feel like you cut them off, you stop communicating with them, you might have even blocked this person. Um, so yeah, you saw right through their bullshit here with the Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords underneath it. And um, this person now it's 
obsessed with you they can't get you off their mind here why is this four of pentacles here why is the four of pentacles here thank you judgment yeah this person i feel like uh, instead of um, taking the right uh, decision here they hold back uh, into making a decision to move forward with you in, in, instead of taking action in the past this person just hold back on um, making the, the right decision here but now now they want to change the dynamic i feel like this person is trying to move away uh could be that this person might be a father here could have um, been in a marriage here and they uh, made you what, their mistress maybe yeah ten of cups as well but you're the one that they feel emotionally fulfilled with I'm not gonna take the cards but yeah uh, king of cups here uh, wanted to clarify the emperor so this person trying to control their emotions uh, act uh, <laughs> confident that oh, they don't they're okay they don't uh, get affected by this but in reality this person I feel like they cut deep feelings for you here three of cups third party situation they want to reconciliate now with you nine of wands i don't think this person is going to give up on you uh easily here i feel like they want to fight for this connection um they want to be with you they want to take action um you might be guarded again i feel like you blocked this person with the nine of wands and underneath this uh, we have the hangman sacrifices need to be made they're realizing that they need to sacrifice uh, their comfort uh, their um, maybe lack of trust here their fears they need to step in you know, take a leap of faith here uh, they're kind of starting to see the things from a different perspective trying to gain more clarity over their emotions over this situation here even though look uh, how their emotions in the devil card is like all over the place and here is just running smoothly here again uh, this person just delayed uh, the connection between you and them uh, maybe they needed to learn some karmic lessons and they needed to maybe to free themselves from a karmic situation here with the judgment i feel like this person uh, it's going to come towards you i don't know if they are going to uh, separate from um, whoever they are with but i don't see them giving up on you either uh, this person is too obsessed with you too drawn to you they they can't stop thinking about you this person is on fire um but yeah i feel like this person just delayed um some things between the two of you um they again with the hangman they're feeling stuck in a third party situation here uh six of swords though i see them wanting to come towards you and have union with the four of wands so anyway let's uh let's see what else uh, definitely you might be dealing with a karmic here pile three uh majority of you someone that um was in a long-term connection with someone else when you met them put you in a third party situation and uh, now they're stuck can choose you or the other person there they feel that uh, that's where they're feeling more secure more comfortable but with the devil card i don't think this person is actually uh, feeling uh well at all because they're obsessing with you and with the hierophant here i feel like they needed to learn some karmic lessons here that's why you met this person maybe that's why this person is going to come back into your life here um yeah let's move on great adventure take a risk venture forward so this person is trying to find their confidence come more confident towards you take a risk here 
yeah um this person is real it's going to come toward you here because we see in the six of swords and this kind of represents that six of swords energy this person realizes in order to move forward here and free themselves from this uh toxic chains here they need to take a risk i feel like they're realizing this now so maybe they're even going to tell you the truth uh we'll see oh, okay yeah this person i told you they cut up feelings for you like i love you these are powerful words like this person was not expecting they saw you as a fling as something that's going to pass very fast like uh an adventure uh, they could have been a player with uh this uh, king of wands here uh, they were not expecting to uh, catch uh, feelings to be on fire over you here pile three uh, but yeah they realize that action speaks loudest um, so they need to express their love through actions not only to um just to be very charismatic um, give you some nice speech like everything is going to be amazing and make plans and never um, stand up for their words just um, bullshit you with that seven of swords energy so they realize that um, they need to show actions here and take uh, some sort of risk in order to be with you because this person apparently uh, they have deep feelings here for you yeah and you also have focus on love look for the good in everyone i feel like this person has trust issues for others of you this is someone that always been used by others uh, by their because of their looks power money whatever was it um they're always being used here so i feel like they uh, they started to have uh, trust issues uh, lost their faith but um because they love you so much and they're they are trying to gain uh, their trust back they're trying to uh, take a risk and uh, be vulnerable with you here they might uh, even come and confess their feelings towards you here um, definitely they're coming towards you here patri um let me see some extra messages before we end this just a second okay so pile three let's see what else we need to know about this person for pile three that wants to come in soon this one fell in my lap <laughs> okay okay that should be enough let's see what you have um they could be a bit shorter than you maybe you're shorter than them could be a different uh, way different height different sorry uh maybe for some of you you met this person through instagram or that's where are going to reach out to you e wow like wow one nice even if I wanted, wow, I, I love it when uh, they just confirm uh, the reading. Uh, different, uh, different race culture, yeah, uh, with the hair fun. Maybe there, uh, for some of you, this is uh, because of their culture, of their power of authority here. Um, it's causing some troubles between you and them with that hair of hand. maybe this is someone that's very traditional their family is very traditional uh, that's standing in uh, between you and this person here let me in so this person uh, sees you um, cutting them off they want to reach out they they're afraid that you're not going to uh, think them back stalker yeah I, I, I saw them this person is keeping an eye on you watching you observing you from afar they could be uh, rich maybe that's why they're afraid that you're after that money and someone from afar so this could be someone from the distance here a uh, different culture race maybe uh, especially if you met them online through instagram here uh, they live in another city a city sorry country maybe 
and you also have come to me here so this person may be once uh, hoping that you're the one that's going to break the ice that it's going to unblock them come towards them i i don't know that they're hoping that you're going to choose them maybe let's see what else here your initials So we have N O No S I another N another I another S C uh, Spain maybe they're from Spain maybe you are from Spain um, you. Oh my god L uh, could be any letter A Los Angeles LA another A here and D and that was it uh i'm also seeing north america here denmark dna this person wants to leave their dna on you <laughs> is what i'm getting here uh, you also have c here sir maybe I don't know, Louis Vuitton, maybe this is someone that will buy you um, brand new bags, clothes, uh, spoil you. They are very rich, they are wearing uh, branding marks, very expensive ones. So yeah, this is what I had for you guys. If this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you want to support the channel. I hope everyone is going to have an amazing day or night and stay blessed until next time. Bye!